She has been named the 2023 Southerner of the Year by Southern Living Magazine, inspiring kids to get their hands dirty to end hunger. Let's welcome Katie Stagliano, founder and chief executive gardener of Katie's Crops. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Southern Living Magazine names you Southerner of the, the, the South is a big place. <laughs> and you're number one in their book right now. Congratulations. How did that all happen? That was, oh my gosh, this has been a whirlwind and the biggest surprise. So some, someone from Southern Living reached out and said that they wanted to do an article about Katie's crops and our work to end hunger. And that in itself was a huge honor and I was so excited. And they reached out, they did the article, they said it'll probably just be online. And I was like, okay, that's amazing. <laughs> And then someone said, oh, we're actually going to mail you a copy of the magazine. And I was like, oh my gosh, did I so make it? So it's actually in print. Yes. So it's in print. It lives in posterity. Congratulations. So what was the inspiration behind Katie's Crops? And, and when did you start it? And, and why did you decide to lend your efforts to this mission? So Katie's Crops began when I was in the third grade. I brought home a tiny cabbage seedling, quite literally this big that grew to be a 40 pound cabbage. <laughs> wow. Which was, I mean, the cabbage was this big. It was bigger than my four year old brother at the time. Where did you grow it? Do you live on a farm <laughs> or no. do you, okay. It grew in my parents' backyard. <laughs> I just went home, planted it every day after school. I would water and weed around it. And after seeing how big it grew, I was like, this is far too big for my family and I. And every night before we sat down to dinner, my dad would always tell us how fortunate we were yeah. to be sitting down to a healthy meal and how there are some families who rely on soup kitchens for what might be their only meal of the day. Mm. So I decided, I was like, I wanna donate my cabbage to help feed those families. Oh. And I was able to bring my cabbage to a local soup kitchen, Tri-County Family Ministries, now neighbors together, and you could feed an army with that cabbage. No, it was insane. And I fed it to 275 people. Wow. And I got to see all the faces of the people that I was helping to feed. And at nine years old, yeah. really taking the issue of hunger and food insecurity and how it's your friends and your neighbors and people who have just fallen down on hard times. And I thought if one cabbage can help to feed 275 people, Imagine how many people a garden can feed. Katie, you're incredible. So your father's words had an indelible impression on you. And quite literally, you nurturing that cabbage every single day until it reached 40 pounds was just the beginning of what you've been doing, nurturing this mission and spreading it to other schools and other children around the country. So how did your organization then grow to where it is today? How many people currently take part in Katie's Crops? So after after my cabbage, I went to my school, told them about it, and I said, I really want to start a garden. So I started a garden at my school. And then we began getting publicity, and I began hearing from kids across the country who are passionate about ending hunger in their communities. They said, how can we support you? How can we get involved? And then we began the Katie's Crops Grower Search. So we decided that we wanted to offer funding and support to youth across the country. They could start gardens in their communities and donate the produce, soup kitchens, homeless shelters, families in need. Wow. So now we have 100 gardens in 30 states across the United States. Wow. We have collectively grown and donated over 600,000 pounds of produce to those struggling with hunger and food insecurity. And we actually have a grower search open right now. Oh, tell me. Tell me more. So we have a search open for youth between the ages of 7 and 17 who reside in the United States to apply to join the Katie's Crops growing family. You'll get the funding and support that all these amazing growers currently get, and you'll be able to help those struggling with hunger and food That's insecurity. Beautiful. That is in so the beautiful. Community. What has been the feedback from those other students, schools, teachers, having taken part in Katie's Crops and your mission? It's been incredible. They truly prove that age is just a number. It doesn't matter how young or how old you are. You can make such an impact in your community. We have kids as young as one and two years old in the garden, and they're learning where their food comes from. They're learning the impact that they can make. They're taking responsibility and having pride over something that's helping their community, and they're learning that one small action can change someone's life. And so really just to be a part of something like that from a young age. It's just amazing to watch these kids grow up and to hear how much they enjoy it and just the pride they have for being able to provide for their community. And let's face it, something like growing vegetables flies in the face of that instant gratification. So what you're also helping kids learn is that 
slow and steady. You want to make sure that you nurture something day after day after day. Don't give up on it because it will nurture for years to come. And, and the, the who you touch, the souls and the hearts of people yes. that you touch, I'm sure has just been no, incredible. And the ripple effect as well is something that I've learned along the way is you never know the impact that your one small action can have. Yeah. You can share vegetables with a family in need and then they can share it with their neighbors in need as well. It doesn't matter that they're struggling. They know their neighbors are struggling too. And you never know how many lives you're gonna touch what an impact you're gonna make by just doing one small thing, and it's incredible to see. Bravo, Katie. Well, thank you so much for sharing your mission with us, and we're gonna put information up on the screen for people who wanna join in on feeding our, our country and making sure no one goes home hungry. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Great to have you on. We're back after this.